foggy as hell. So it's Saturday morning. It is. Oh, I'm getting glove on. Uh, 7:30 in the morning. My dad is uh, on a little overnighter motorcycle ride with his buddy Tom. I thought I would work today, which I don't. So I'm just going up to surprise them. Hopefully I catch them before they go riding this morning. And as you can see, it's foggy as all heck. Heading down to Wyckoff Run. my dad and now I'm riding with Tommy in front there my dad to the left and uh, this guy Kevin and his wife daughter behind me on an XR I'm not sure where Tom's leading us today but we're gonna do a little dual sport So that was a pretty nice overlook. I don't know, I didn't check the name even or what it's called or anything. But as you saw there, you can see about 360 degrees. Turning out to be a beautiful day. You saw how foggy it was this morning. And it is getting like, getting warm. And it's September 16th, yeah, September 16th, so. We're on the cusp of fall here. You can see some of the leaves are starting to change. This is Mansion Hill Cemetery. Creepy. Let me ride that till we hit the pavement. I just want to see what it does. I just want to see how it is. I'm thinking if I could sell that for the right money and sell my DR. I'm thinking about buying one of these new. My DR. I tell you what. That bike is nicer riding than my DR. I'd rather ride, that. other than the power, that bike tracks better. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's so much easier to ride than my DR. I don't, you know, it's, like I said, it don't got no shit. You ain't gonna do no willies on it. Well, now I'm on dad's uh, California Scooter Company TT250. He's on my XT. Leaving this Mansion Hill Cemetery here. I don't know. This bike runs about as good as my XT. It don't get up, but he's got an extra gear too. This is the first time I really rode this. I mean, I think I rode it in the yard when he got it. It's only 500, well, 499. We're gonna roll over 500 miles here. If you want a non uh, non owner's opinion of this bike, it's pretty nice. I know my dad. Uh, the chain comes out of adjustment like crazy. Well, not out of adjustment, but it's it's a Chinese. I guess some cheap chain. And it's stretching like crazy, so it, it gets adjusted a lot. There you go, 500 mile. It sits up higher than my XT. I don't, I just, uh, it feels che it feels cheaper, if that makes sense, but that doesn't mean it is. Could just feel that way. We're just on gravel roads, obviously. Hey! Hey! Careful, I run more air than you! Okay. I'm too, I run more air pressure than you, so be careful! Yeah. Everything on this bike feels okay. 
brakes are solid. A little, little sketchy. They're not very, like, I guess linear would be, you know, like a, the pedal's kind of touchy. There, it went away. I don't know. Maybe it was just damp. Or maybe it's how the rear end, because there's no linkage, it's tracks when you're on the brakes and you're in bumps, like the bump braking, braking bumps. This bike feels heavier, but it doesn't really feel harder to manage. Almost like it's pretty well balanced. Like I feel like I'm sitting up on a more modern bike actually than my XT. But my XT is its own animal, you know? It's not competing with a modern bike, per se. Oh, it's beautiful out. Oh. Bumps are a little more square edge on this. Well, pull up to the stop sign. Well, you don't like it. You don't like it. I like the power, but I don't like the way I sit on it. It's too short. I like I like how high your seat is, but your suspension's real harsh. Yeah. You get, that has so much nice smoother power. Yeah. But I like I like this is actually perfect. Yeah, I'd, I want to put higher bars on it from like because I when I stand up then I'm a little too far forward. Yeah. Now I'm behind Kevin and Dot. Oh, driftwood branch of the cinema honing. Oh yeah, I can see lots. Not. What Tom pointing at? Oh, no. it's just a heron or a crane or something. Back on a 120. Well, Let's try to air it and see how long it lasts. This, it just went flat. It almost had to. Down, That's what you get for taking off. A 390. That, that KTM, I mean, they're like that. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, you know what? Unless we, it ain't gonna last that long. Wow. Yeah, we better, you have a tube? I have a tube. Let's change it now. Yeah, let me get my. Lucy. Yeah. That's I take him off usually be before I let the air out. So we, we don't. used to do it with the girls on the back too, but no more of that. The girls didn't like it. I'm gonna try to break this wrench. Though. Here, give it here. Hey, let me. Let me give you a drop. I got it. Yeah, no, you, got no, it. here goes your bike. Goes bike. <laughs> I, I didn't like the way we'll put it this way. I don't want to get stuck in this bike. Get my bend in half. tube fixed all replaced TT fell over just broke a mirror it seems like Pretty chill day so far. 
Good fun though. This and isn't you know, a private. A lot of people, they post property that like isn't there sign too, just to keep you out. Private. They think, oh, this is my private hunting place. Well, you could say, we just come down through the woods. We don't know where we're at. It don't matter. But like Let a lot of people, you know, they'll like put up private drive. The gate drive. was open. Yeah. They put up private drive there. That could, you could go take and put post signs. Behind my house, a guy posted. it. He don't even own it. He hunts up there, so he, he don't want anybody else hunting there. So let's put, put a sign up that says motorcycles yeah. only. Those signs, unless they're signs, they don't mean anything. get back to home here soon. I'm supposed to race tomorrow. Elizabeth Town. Don't really feel like it now. I rode all day today doing this, but we'll see. 